My name is Mohamed Adwan. I am an architect and .NET team leader in OTS, Optimal Technology Solutions. Okay, first, you can download all the presentation and the example included all references for whole demonstration. I will show you through this presentation from my blog, mohamedadwan.wordpress.com. Our topic today is encryption and security. Get me inside. I call it get me inside because we will get deep inside the encryption and security, try to understand everything, how everything works, and so on. So let's go. We will talk about service mechanism and algorithm. Mechanism. Mechanism, it, we have three topics today, signature, encryption, hashing. And each mechanism has its own algorithm. And what is algorithm is, in very simple way, it is the steps that you follow to provide the mechanism. For example, if we say a mechanism is uh, cooking a dessert, the algorithm is the steps you follow to provide this dessert. For example, pouring water and uh, doing some fl uh, putting some flavors and so on and so forth. But before describing each one of these, we'll start talking about security requirements. Okay, CIA, confidentiality, the privacy of the data. You don't anyone to see your data. When you send a message to your friend or email, you don't anyone to understand the data that you sent. Integrity. By doing encryption, you provide confidentiality because no one can understand the message. But he can alter the data, he can delete it, he can modify it. So you are not providing integrity. So the integrity is mean how to maintain that the data is safe. Authentication is the mechanism that you provide a way to prove that you are the one that you pretended. I am Hamad Adwan, so prove it by knowing information like password or by having a token or um, by having something like fingerprint or iris scan something like this. Non-repudiation, you want to make sure that no one can deny that he's doing some action. For example, if someone doing a transaction on the internet and he can say, no, I'm not the one that doing this transaction. So what is the threats? Let's talk about the threats that we face so we can understand what is the mechanism that we need. Information disclosure. Anyone can see your privacy or your uh, valuable information. Integ integrity violation. The data is altered or modified, deleted. Denial of service. Your service is not available for legal users. Generic threats like backdoors, Trojan, and so on and so forth. Security mechanism. So you need this mechanism to provide the following security requirements, the previous security requirements. For example, by using encryption, you will provide confidentiality because the data is encrypted. So no one can read the data or understand the data. So you provide, so you provide confidentiality because the data is encrypted and the one that receives the data is decrypted and start reading it. But still, have a problem of integrity. So you're using hash. By using hash mechanism, you're just making a checksum or calculation on the message. So you, so you will calculate a number on the message and send it with the message. So the receiver can, can start calculating the number again on the message. And if the same number calculated, that means the data is not altered. For example, you're just saying for example, if we have this message, hello word of encryption, the hashing algorithm will take the first character for each word. So it will take H, W, O, E. So if anyone alters the data, for example, it will alter to hello word of security. So the hashing will be different here. Of course, this is not hashing algorithm because it's very easy and it can be reliable but it's just understanding that if the hashing algorithm provides the same 
keyword that means the data is not altered and this what we want from the hashing the signature is the inverse of the encryption when using encryption you start asymmetric encryption you start encrypting using public key and decrypt using private key the signature is encrypting using your private key and decrypting using public key we'll understand the signature exactly when we start talking about the diagram okay if we can see here's a public key using encryption using the public key so just person here just encrypts the message with using a public key or share the key and sends the message to the other one the other one is just decrypting the message using the same key and read it this provides confidentiality but it not provide integrity because anyone in the middle can alter this data or modify it by using a symmetric or a pair key two pair key everyone of the two side have two pair key or pair key public and private and public and private so person one have a public and private key and person two have a public and private key so if person one want to send a message to person two he will start encrypting the message using the public key of person one person two because public key of person two is shared but the private key of person two is only with person two so the only one can decrypt this message is person two and person two if he want to send pub a person one a private message he will start encrypting the data by using the public key of person one and the person one private key is only with him so is the only one that can decrypt this message this way is very it is better before uh, than the the previous one because everyone has its own private key but the shared key can be for anyone so anyone can decrypt the message but here no one can decrypt the message except the one that has a private key but still that not provide integrity by using hashing on the message so so you just send the data and creating a hash and send the hash with the data so the one that receives the message start making the hash and see if the the hash is the same that means the data is not altered the data is safe and integer but this have a problem what if what if the man in the middle or the hacker that changing the data and creating a new hash on the changing data here you need to sign the message hash to so after you creating the hash you will start signing it you will start encrypting the hash with your own pri private key so no one can anyone can have your public key can decrypt this message but no one can encrypt this hash except you because you only one that have the private key so you prove to the second side that you are this one because you only the one that can be able to decrypt this message with your own private key so the other side receives a message he start decrypting the hash table by the by your public key and when he decrypted he now make sure that this hashing encrypting by you because you are the only one that has your own private key and so on so why security is harder than its look because very simple way because every system is has a bug and normal use does doesn't use this bug but hacker use this bug so the failure is 100 percent